Hi, in this tutorial we're just going to go over the periodic table. The periodic table is a fantastic achievement in science and in chemistry in general in that it groups together all the elements in terms of their reactivity. The periodic table as we know it today was put together by a Russian chemist called Dmitry Mendeleev who in 1869 noticed that the familiar reactivity of elements could be classified together in groups and periods. If we have a look at the periodic table here we can see that the alkaline metals lying over to the left have got similar reactivity. The next column, the uh, alkaline earth metals, again have all got similar reactivity. The reactivity increases as you go down the column. And if you look here across this big band here, this is the transition metals. And transition metals have got phenomenal chemistry and uh, I urge you to have a look at the tutorials on transition metals. It's particular. Uh, pleasurable feel for me as well. Uh, next to the transition metals you've got the post transition metals then we've got the non metals and then we've got the halogens and then the noble gases. Just below the periodic table a, a separate group of elements which are classified as in the F block elements and these are the lanthanides and the actinides. If you've seen the other tutorials on nucleogenesis, you'll know that most of the elements are formed within stars. Some are actually synthetically made here on Earth. Of all the elements that are naturally occurring on Earth, apart from um, promethium and technetium, most of them are naturally occurring up to about 94, the atomic uh, number of 94. Beyond that they are synthetically made or they are, uh, a lot of them are radioactive and will degrade into other products. If you want to look at the reactivity of an element, or even the reactivity of molecules, then this is probably the first port of call really, the periodic table, because this tells you where the reactivity comes from and it's the outer electrons, the valence electrons that give rise to the uh, the reactivity of all the elements apart from the radio radioactivity of the of the elements towards the bottom edge of the periodic table. So if you look at the electronic configuration tutorials you'll see that the atoms themselves want to have a closed shell where the electrons are or in the orbitals. It is that um, desire to become a closed shell either losing an electron or gaining electrons that gives rise to this reactivity. So that's the periodic table, a very brief introduction. They'll be broken down into separate sections. Keep your eye out for the tutorials on those separate sections and I hope you enjoy the rest of the tutorials.